तो चलें जी लेटर स्टार्ट बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कशन ऑन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स सो द फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स आर्टिकल टाइटल इज जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर द जे एफ ई टी टाइटल ऑफ द आर्टिकल इज जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर द जे एफ ई टी ए फील इफेक्ट फील इफेक्ट transistor is a voltage controlled device that is the output characteristic of the device are controlled by input voltage there are two basic types of field effect transistors first one is the junction field effect transistor which is also called the jfet and the second one is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor which is also called the mosfet and just for your information the mosfet has a very very large field of application in power electronics so the fet the jfet has a large app, uh, application in an analog and power electronics but the mosfet is widely used in power electronics applications for example converters inverters and so on anyways the junction field effect transistor the junction field effect transistor a jfet is a three terminal semiconductor device in which current conduction is by one type of carrier that is electrons or holes the current conduction is controlled by means of an electric field between the gate and the conducting channel the jfet has high input impedance and low noise level then is the mosfet the mosfet is a voltage controlled field effect transistor the mosfet is a voltage controlled field effect transistor that operates the same as jfet but differs from a jfet that it has metal oxide gate electrode which is electrically insulated from the main semiconductor and channel or p channel by very thin layer of insulating material called silicon dioxide which is also known as glass so the jfet and the mosfet operating function is the same but the mosfet differs that its gate terminal has an additional metal oxide insulating material to enhance the in to increase the input impedance so this was the definition of jfet and mosfet now let us look deeply or let us look more closely now let us look more closely into the jfet a jfet is a three terminal semiconductor device in which current conduction is by one type of carrier that is either electrons or holes the current conduction is controlled by means of an electric field between the gate and the conducting channel and that the jfet is has high input impedance and low noise level so in this diagram we see two types of jfets in the first type we see a p channel jfet and in the second type we see an n channel jfet so the channels they define the type of jfet and this channel is a conducting path between the drain and the source the conducting channel is therefore the carrier is is therefore the charge carrier if the channel is of p type it is called p channel jfet and if the channel is of n channel n type material then it is called n channel jfet the two pn junction forming diodes are conducted internally and common terminal called gate is taken out the jfet has three terminals called gate source and drain each jfet will have three terminals one is the gate second is the drain and third is the source okay so now we come to the next slide jfet polarities in this slide we will learn how to connect external power supplies to our two different type of jfet 
since we have two types of GFTs, so in this slide we will learn how to connect external power supplies to different to the different types of GFET. And this is called GFET polarities. Figure below shows N channel GFET polarities and T channel GFET polarities techniques. Note carefully the direction of external DC voltage sources connected in each case. So let us take in the first example, let us take our N channel GFET. It is the N channel GFET and the polarities are such that the negative terminal of the gate source power supply is connected to the gate, whereas the positive terminal of the gate source power supply is connected to the source. So in N channel, in N channel JFT, we have to connect the negative side of the gate with a negative polarity and the source between and the source with a positive polarity between gate and source. And then let us look at the output side between the drain and the source. For N channel case, we have to connect the positive side of the terminal to the drain for N channel case and negative side of the channel, uh, negative side of the battery or negative side of the polarity to the source between drain and source. And that means that the source is being connected with the positive side and the negative side. And later onwards, we will have to, later onwards, we will have to ground the source terminal. This was the case for N channel. Now let us come to the P channel. In the case of the P channel JFET, we have to connect positive terminal of the battery between gate and source to the gate terminal. And we will have to connect negative polarity of the battery between gate and source to the source terminal. And if we look, if we look at the output side, we will have to connect a negative side of the ex external power supply to the drain and we will have to connect positive terminal of the battery to the source between the drain and source and the source will be grounded like this. The source terminal will be grounded. In each case, the voltage between gate and source is such that the gate is reverse biased. This is the most important thing to note that in each case, either in N channel or in P channel, the voltage between gate and source is such that the gate, such that the gate is reverse biased. We have to reverse bias the gate and source. The source and drain, the source and drain terminals are interchangeable. We can change the polarity of drain and source, so it becomes of less importance. The source and drain terminals are interchangeable. We can change the polarities of drain and source either for N type or for P type. However, the following points may be noted. The input current that is gate to source of a JFET is reverse bias. This is very important to note that since the gate and source is reverse biased for both cases N type and P type, therefore the input current that flows between gate and source of the JFT is reverse bias. This means that the device has high input impedance. Since the gate and source have been reverse biased, therefore the current will be very, very small. And the input impedance is very large. And second point is the drain is so biased with respect to the source that drain current ID flows from the source to drain. And in all JFTs, source current IS is equal to drain current. In all JFTs, the source current and the drain current are equal. Okay, so now, okay, so now let us come to the next slide. The next slide is the principle of uh, JFT. Uh, the figure shows the circuit of N channel JFT with normal polarities. Uh, the two PN junction at the side of two depletion layers. The current conduction by 
charge carrier that is electron is through the channel between two depletion rays and out of the drain this is for the n uh, type channel the width and hence resistance of this channel can be controlled by changing the input voltage vgs vgs is the voltage between gate and source the greater the reverse voltage vgs the wider will be the depletion layer and narrower will be the conducting channel the narrower channel means greater resistance and hence source to drain current decreases reverse will happen when vgs decreases thus the jft operates on the principle that width and hence resistance of the conducting channel can be varied by changing the reverse voltage vgs in other words the magnitude of drain current id can be changed by altering vgs and this is and these two points are the basic understanding of the fet fet operates on the principle that width and hence resistance of the conducting channel can be varied by changing the uh, reverse voltage vgs and in the magnitude of drain current can be changed by altering or changing the voltage between gate and source vgs working of uh, jft so in this slide we will see how the jft works so now let us come to the next slide working of jft the working of uh, jft can be explained as follows case number 1 when a voltage vds is applied between drain and source terminals and voltage on the gate is zero as shown in the figure the two pn junctions at the sides of the channel establish depletion regions the electrons will flow from the source to the drain through a channel between the depletion layers the size of the depletion layer determine the width of the channel and hence current conduction through the channel so in this case what we have done is we have kept the gate and source this is the gate terminal this is the source terminal and this is the drain terminal in this case the gate and source are at 0 volts so when so when the gate and source are at 0 volt there will be a natural depletion region between the pn junction of the jft this depletion region will be the place where the current cannot pass and here is the depletion region this is the depletion region on one side and this is the depletion region on the second side in the depletion region no current can pass so at 0 volt between gate and source the depletion region exists and this makes the channel the channel the path between the drain and source to become narrow the electrons since this is an n type the electrons they flow from the source to the drain and our conventional current will flow from drain to the source now the size of the depletion region the size of the depletion region or how narrow or how open the depletion region is it will determine the current through the channel the larger the size of the depletion region smaller will be the current conduction the smaller the size of the depletion region larger will be the will be the current conduction between the drain and source now we come to the next slide and the next slide is case number 
in case number two, when a reverse voltage VGS is applied between gate and source terminal as shown in figure, the width of the depletion region is increased. So in the second case, we have reverse bias the gate and source. The gate, which is a P time material and the source, which is the end time material. How can we reverse bias such gate? Such gate? It, it can be done if we connect the negative side of the battery to the gate to the gate terminal. We connect negative side of the negative side of the battery to the gate terminal and positive side of the battery to the source terminal. So what will happen? The gate and source. The gate will be reverse bias. And when we increase the, uh, the voltage VGS, the depletion region can be increased. As we increase, as we increase the depletion region, how, why are we saying that we increase the depletion region? Because the depletion region, it is, it can either be forward bias or reverse bias. When it is forward bias, when a PN junction, a PN junction can either be forward biased or reverse biased. When a PN junction is forward biased, the PN junction decreases in width. It becomes thin. But when the PN junction is reverse biased, the depletion region increases in width. So we are taking benefit of the phenomena that when we reverse bias a PN junction, the depletion region increases. And the effect is that this reduces the width of conducting channel, thereby increasing the resistance of n-type channel. As we go on increasing the reverse bias voltage, the depletion region will increase. And as the depletion region increases, the resistance between the n-type channel will increase. As a result, the current from the source to the drain is decreased. That is the electron motion from the source to drain or the conventional current from drain to source, it will decrease. On the other hand, when the reverse bias on the gate is decreased, the width of the depletion region also decreases. Now, if we decrease, if we decrease the voltage VGS, we will decrease the reverse bias voltage and this reverse bias voltage will decrease the depletion region width. As the depletion region width decreases, we will increase the current. This increase in width of conducting channel and hence source and hence causes the electron current from source to drain into increase. So as we decrease the depletion region, the channel width increases and more current, more electron electronic current flows from source to drain or more conventional current flows from drain to source. Now, since this is an end type channel case, in a P channel JFT, a P channel JFT operates in the same manner as an N channel JFT, except that channel ca current carriers, channel current carriers will be holes and polarity of VGS and VDS are reversed. So this will be the difference between the N channel and the P channel. Now we have the somatic symbols of FET figure shows figure below shows the somatic symbols of JFET. They are quite different from the P type channel from the BJT NPN or BJT PNP transistors. In the first case, we have the N channel JFET. We have the drain terminal, we have the source terminal and the gate terminal and this arrow which is pointing towards 
the drain and source represent the N channel JFET. And if we now look at the P channel semantic diagram, we again have the drain terminal, we have the source terminal, we have the drain terminal and the, the gate terminal. And with the gate terminal, there is an arrow which is pointing towards the gate terminal. And this represents the P type JFET. So this was the schematic symbol for JFETs.